Hey there, my lovely Geminis. Getting ready to start your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy full moon. Hopefully this full moon should be kicking in some really good energies, especially around prosperity. Um, if you want a really crazy nutso reading that's all over the place, you can go to the full moon and Capricorn reading. <laughs> That I just finished, um, that somebody completely took over. <laughs> Might get a little crazy, but I'm loving seeing, especially in the collective, how empowered people are feeling and really kind of going after their goals. So hopefully that resonates with you and your life right now as well. All right, guys. So spirit, by the way, guys, this will be a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest as always. Spirit, what we have today for my Gemini collective, please. Let's start with some energies, Gemini's energies, please. Oh, look at that. Even as we say it, blossom in abundance. First thing out, you guys might really be uh, manifesting a lot of abundance. You might be reaping some of the uh, rewards for your efforts here. All right. Certainly monetarily, but it could also be in other ways as well. Okay. Maybe in love, friendships, relationships, something along those lines. Abundance can come to us in many forms. Let's see what else? Yeah, look at that. Door to value. Okay. Maybe you're doing something here that you believe is very valuable. Whatever you do, maybe Spirit is saying to you, confirming here, yes, that is of value. You're really helping other people. You're providing a good service. Um, people value you and what you're doing. If it's some kind of business or passion project too. That's funny because I want to say some of these came out for Sagittarius this reading last night as well. Either Sag. It might have been Sag. If it wasn't Sag, it could have been maybe Libra or Aquarius. If you're dealing with one of those signs or if you have that highly aspected. Look at this. Whoa. Look at this. Gemini. This is crazy. And then we have a journey here. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw out this last one to Angel of Balance here. Okay, so you might be going on some kind of journey right now. You might be traveling. You might find yourself journeying around, going on um, trips, something like that, traveling to see someone, to meet with someone here. Um, this is really interesting because I'm getting a good mixture here. I do think that Archangel Metatron has been working on you on your third eye, really opening your third eye here. Some of you guys could definitely be seers in some way, intuitives or, or just intuitive period. Um, Really kind of tuning in, though, and getting downloads right now, being led kind of organically, I want to say, to kind of the next step, okay, if it's to love, if it's to uh, some form of abundance, you know, it, just, it could be to anything, honestly, just the next step in the right direction here. I do feel like you definitely feel like you're being led. You're definitely going with the flow here. I love yin and yang, right? Because this is all about that balance, that beautiful balance of your masculine and your feminine energies. You know, this could also be two people coming together as well. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy, something like that. You definitely have a lot of balance that's occurring here. Look, you also have the angel of balance, okay? And maybe you're actually going on a journey. It could just be a soul's journey, okay? It could be an actual journey, all right, that you're being led on, that you're feeling very drawn to here, okay, to really open up uh, your insights. But not only that. Because you already have been opened up intuitively is what I'm getting here. So you're just kind of following the lead of spirit here. All right. And I think it's taken you to a place here, a balance here. Yeah, see, right behind it, we have rest and rejuvenation. Whatever this is, I feel like it's very welcomed. Um, you know, maybe you're being taken care of in some way. Whatever that means to you. Maybe that just means a time out from the hustle and bustle of everything else. Maybe it's to give your brain a rest from, you know, work or from a relationship or anything like that. Maybe it's spending time with people that you love. Yeah, where you feel like you're actually being taken care of is what I'm getting here. You know, for me, that's usually massages and <laughs> meditation and nature. But I know it's different for every single person. All right, so Spirit, let's just talk about Gemini. Give me 
Who or what is coming in for my Gemini collective, please? This looks great, though. This looks really good. All right, who or what is coming in for my Gemini collective, please? Look at that. You came right out. Who or what is coming in? So you may also be dealing, I'm saying who or what, so you may also be dealing with another, um, definitely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Here, someone may be coming in that's just very honest, very forthright, speaks the truth, very direct. Um, someone who you can trust. Could also be someone who is kind of head over heart here, or it could also be a situation here. Oh my God, there's a lot of emotions here. Mm, whoa, what is this? The four of wands here. Oh, hello. All right, Gemini, I don't know what this is. Hang on one second. I'm definitely going to have to get some clarification on this. This might be a fresh, uh, might be a nice change of play, uh, pace for you too. Although this person could be a very good business person, they could very much so know how to be a very much so head over heart kind of person as well. You know, it looks to me with the moon card, there's a lot about them that you don't see. There's depths that you can't see. This person could be, have a lot of emotions actually going on. Okay. You notice that the next card is my four of wands. Four of wands is my card of marriage. It's my card of living together. Um, so if this is not already somebody that you're with, this is somebody that looks like it's coming in that could actually progress quite quickly. Somebody's going to be wanting some kind of higher commitment, it looks like, with you, Gemini, maybe even to move into your home or even to get married. All right, this is, I mean, these people are clearly getting married, okay? Um, but something more traditional even um, in terms of that, okay? Now, I don't know if this person is a very wise person, if they're a very spiritual person here with this hair font card, uh, but certainly they're a person who knows who they are. They're very much so standing in, your, in their power. Notice this card is the actual emperor, okay? Very much so a person that's standing in their power that, you know, the emperor rules their own kingdom, all right? They don't just act on, I mean, they don't act on emotions, period, okay? They do what's best, and it usually works out for them. They have no issues. They might be a boss as well, actually, because they have no issues getting people to work, getting things done, um, having the respect of the people around them. Emperor is also a father, uh, generally, or fits into that, that place of a father. I mean, again, the emperor is responsible. They run their own kingdom here. All right, look, yeah, this is going to be someone, actually, who is going to, look, the Six of Pentacles. It's all about equal reciprocity, someone that will give to you. We talked about that up here. You might be getting a nice little escape here from what you're accustomed to or from what you've been through. All right. Or even and I, like I said, that could just be everyday life. All right. The stresses of everyday life or, you know, working or whatever. But something, whoever this is, is going to definitely want to have a lot of equal give and take with you. Look at the, I cannot believe this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is insane to me. Will of fortune. All right. So this might be something that's faded that's coming in for you. All right, if it's not already in your life right now, I, I just cannot believe these cards. All right, so definitely a lot of equal reciprocity here. You're going to feel like someone has given you as much as you were given them. Definitely no breadcrumbing coming. Look at this card in particular for my six of pence. You see that both of them, you know, they're having fun. They're taking care of each other. They're laughing together. Okay, but this person... It's going to feel like, and you may also feel like this person is completely filling your cups right now. Complete emotional fulfillment here. They might feel very familiar to you. You could get along famously. A lot of loving, a lot of tender caring. Okay, um, here. This person could actually feel like family to you. You guys may want to start some kind of family together and look at this. And I think the wheels are going to turn on this pretty fast and in the right direction. Okay. And you're going to find that it's going to be very successful. This is my card of success. This is my card of happiness, my card of joy. You and this person could have a very good dialogue. You could have a lot of laughs together. You could understand each other. Um, you could bring a lot of happiness and joy together. I don't know if this is a friend or if this is a lover. I'm going to say this is uh, somebody who wants to be with you because, I mean, come on. 
And that's my 1111 card. Twin Flame doesn't have to be. Uh, but certainly some higher commitment with these two here together. Wow. So show me my Gemini and all this. Then. Spirit, talk to me about the, the energy. Where is my Gemini sitting out right now? Give me Gemini's energy. I am I'm, uh, flatlined by your <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is amazing. Okay. So... I need to have a card actually come out if that would be okay. These cards are so large, but I absolutely love them. So I I don't know why I picked them for you, actually. I really was wanting to focus heavily on love. Sometimes I just let spirit um, guide me, but I wanted to see what was coming up. This is you, the fool. What else? So you're ready to jump out in a new direction here. You're ready to take a chance. You might be ready for this for this trip, okay, or to travel, or to try on new things here. Uh, you're ready for change, and it looks like you're ready to jump into it, almost with reckless abandon, and just really go with the flow here. Look at this. You got the Three of Cups. It's all about coming together, celebrating. You could be celebrating with some friends right now. You could be coming together with, this might be where you actually meet this person here when you're out and about. Um, but also when you feel like you're at a good time here in your life, okay, where you're just kind of open to whatever here with the celebration card, okay, um, this can also be a card about reuniting if it happens to be someone with the past here, okay, this person, though, look at this, Gemini, and maybe this is actually, I'm asking about your energy, actually, so look at you, I mean, you're coming through as the Queen of Cups, very loving, caring, beautiful, okay, this, in, in this card, she looks very demure, all right, so all the Geminis are quite strong to me, okay, but this person looks very demure, so you're in a very receptive state is what I'm getting. Look how she's holding that cup, all right? That's almost like an empress state. I'm good with whatever. I'm enjoying what's being given to me. I'm open to being loved. I'm open to being, um, you know, in a situation that gives back to me, okay? Yeah, this, look... I'm asking about your energy, and your energy is looking like you're very receptive right now, very loving, very caring, nurturing, um, just kind of taking it all in. You might also be doing quite a bit of self-love as well. You're also very intuitive. The Queen of Cups is quite intuitive as well. Come on. <laughs> God, come through, Spirit. This is crazy. The lovers. This reading is unbelievable. You, you've already met this person or either you're in this connection already. If you're not, you're going to be very soon. Okay. Um, I'm asking about your energy. Okay. This is, you're also going to view this person. All right. As someone very special. I feel like in your life, someone who perhaps you can build with. Look at that angel standing over this. This might actually be a situation that's being brought to you. All right. A soulmate, a high level soulmate from the angels, even a twin flame. Okay. It doesn't have to be either of those. It can be anything. The bottom line is you're going to see love within this person. You're going to feel love from this person. And you're going to know that that's been brought down, okay, from heaven. Look at the angel literally standing over it, protecting this. Maybe you've prayed for this person. This card has fallen up underneath the Hierophant. Maybe you've wanted someone who you could have a long-term connection with and really learn from um, and grow with. You know, maybe they can learn from you as well. But, but regardless, two people that really respect each other. Uh, get along good, have the same kind of values, can grow together. Wow, this is really crazy. Yeah, and then we have the Knight of Laurel. So this could have been a long time coming from you, Gen uh, Gemini. I don't know if I was going to call you Jennifer. So I don't know if there's a Jennifer in the mix. That was weird. Um, this could have been a long time coming from you. The Knight of uh, Pentacles, of course, is the slowest knight in the deck. They take their time. Uh, to get there. It doesn't mean that this person, this person could have took some time, okay, if you guys have been apart and they're taking their sweet time coming back to you. Notice that it falls up underneath the emperor here, but a relationship could have taken a while. Maybe you had some things that you needed to do first before you could actually manifest this in, before the angels felt that it was the right time to bring this person into your life, okay? So this could have taken a little bit of time to get here to bring whomever this, this person is that's standing in this emperor energy for you. What else for my Gemini? I am always baffled by how the cards fall and how they match up in sync uh, with what is above. Like, I, it just, I don't know why it still floors me, but it does. It does, it does. Look at that. Six of laurels given to you. So 
You might be sitting in some heartbreak, to be honest with you. You might have very well had your heart broken, all right? Um, and you might still be healing from that as well. Notice this falls under the Six of Pentacles, which is all about equal reciprocity and equal give and take, all right? Remember I said before, this person is going to want to give to you. They're going to want to give to you. You're going to feel like things are balanced. You're going to feel like things are actually equal. All right, so this person may actually be helping you heal something, Gemini. And honestly, you could very well be helping them too, but I'm looking at your energy right now. All right, so if you are still sitting in some of that broken heart, I would see now why you are willing and open to really experience um, perhaps something new in this situation. You're ready to get over that. I think you're ready to get over that pain, uh, the heartbreak that you, maybe you've been feeling, any anxieties that you could have been feeling over perhaps um, whatever it is. If maybe something didn't work out or a divorce or something like that, um, being put in a third party, anything like that, I feel like this situation is going to be different, okay? This is very much, you're going to see right from the jump that this is very much going to be equal give and take. Look at this, yeah. You're ready for a new start. Look at this. A new start that's actually honest, a new start that doesn't leave you um, perhaps in the dark or disillusioned in some way, a new start, okay, that um, brings clarity, all right? So this will be very clear. I think that it's going to be easy for you both to really put out your expectations um, on the table. Go with the flow, yes, but also put out your expectations and have honest, open communication, this is beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and look on the will. The will is turning up here because you were willing to walk away from something else. And I'd be willing to bet it's whatever created this heartache in you, whatever created this Three of Swords energy, this heartbreak for you. Okay, whatever it was that was breadcrumbing you and not giving back to you, all right, that this person's filling this void with. That's what it is. So now that you have been willing to walk away from that, that's why this will is turning now in a positive direction towards something faded and is going to bring a lot of happiness to you. Oh my goodness. All right. What else, spirit? Whatever it is, I think this is going to move very fast and very positively. Whatever you decide to do with it. You know, it's really kind of up to you. You know your situation. You know where you've been. You know if you're ready for that. But it looks to me like you are ready. You're ready to go in a different situation because whatever happened before may have kept you stuck, okay, and not really moving or flowing through life. May have also made you go through a lot of emotions and a lot of growth, which honestly could have been very good for you. Just looking at these first cards, but the way the angels have been protecting you and especially opening up your intuition, you know that it's time to move. It's time to, to go in a different direction, to take a journey of sorts and to rebalance, okay, to get rest and rejuvenation and really love yourself, all right? Um, and because of that, I feel like somebody new is coming. That's what I feel. One more card. And the cards don't lie. All right. Yep. Didn't I say the cards don't lie? You see it, right? Ace of Cups. Under the Sun card, where is all this happiness coming from? Where is all this fulfillment coming from? It's from this overflowing love. I think you're going to feel very emotional. Whatever you walked away from, Gemini, has allowed you to gain a lot of clarity here about what you want. All right. About what you're willing to accept in your life here. And you've also been able to put a lot of love into yourself, a lot of self-love here. And someone is actually coming in and reflecting that back to you is what I'm getting. All right. And then we have the King of Cups here. I wasn't going to pull another one, but it's literally sitting right here on the bottom. This person will hold a lot of love for you. They could very well be a water sign as well. Don't have to be. I do also notice I have the King and the Queen of Cups here. All right. So definitely have a match on the board here. Um, have your card of Gemini. I have all the signs, really, because I pulled too many cards not to. <laughs> Could be an Aries here, though. I see a Sagittarius here as well. I see Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius. I see, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's what I'm saying. I really think that I have probably most of the signs here. I see some Pisces as well. Um, I see Taurus over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then I see some, yeah, I see Virgo. I see all the fixed signs as well. So Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Taurus, again, Leo. So everything, but this person is going to have a lot of love, a lot of emotions, even if they're all business on the outside, when you see them or when you meet them, they're going to have a lot of emotions and they're not going to be afraid to tell you and probably show you how they feel. They're very caring person is what I'm getting here. This person will absolutely be willing to fight for you. All right, stand up for you, have your back, okay? And I think you're going to see that. So even though they, you know, you might see a lot of this goodness in them and the emotion, don't, don't get it twisted. They're absolutely willing to fight for you and they'll certainly have your back. They'll protect you is what I'm getting. Whoa, Gemini, I want this reading. All right, let's see what the angels have to say and then we're going to close it out for you guys beautiful 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 reading spirit clear what do we have i love this newness coming in i've had a few readings like that just new 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 i love it all right let me uh, let me get down on the floor <laughs> You get these cards that just flew. Oh, my goodness. New love. First card out. I told you. New love. New person has stirred your romantic feelings. I told you, Gemini. I'm telling you. Fresh. New. It's everything that you wanted. Okay? But maybe you needed a little bit of time to really heal. And I think you're still healing. But honestly, this person is going to help you in monumental ways. That's what I really feel. It does say... Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That is really amazing. I kind of get the idea or the indication that you're doing this, okay? Sometimes though, when we're hurt, we tend to kind of think about those things. But what if this person isn't genuine? What if, you know, I think that's all kind of natural, but it's also just triggers um, from past emotions, past things that have happened. I think that's why you have the full card here, okay? As well as the Queen of Cups, you're very receptive, I feel. All right, you're very receptive to this love that is being given. Okay, somebody also finds you really attractive is what I just got to, looking at that lover's card. All right, and somebody also feels like this is a divinely guided, some way, some way it's divinely guided. Look at the angel standing over it. I mean, very much could be. I feel like the angels have brought this into your life for a reason, and maybe to help you heal, um, but maybe for something very long-term because this person I'm going to tell you, based on these cards up here, they want long-term. No doubt in my mind. Okay, so I think with the full card here, though, you are trying to let go. And you're trying to just kind of step out in a new direction. You know what I'm saying? Have some fun and go with the flow. I don't know if that's not normally your, your thing, but it does appear like that's what you're doing here. All right, one more card here, Spirit, for my beautiful Gemini Collective to wrap it up. Grab it. Yep, very soon. Look at this. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon. So if this is not already here, it is going to be in your life very, very soon. I think this will be a very passionate connection as well. All right, it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right, I'm going to get, I think I'm being told, oh, look, good grief. I was being told one more and then I have one that just literally flipped over. I'm sure you heard it. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So be open to it. Look, three cards flipped a minute ago when I said, let me get one more. The other one is to trust. All right, this situation is calling for you to have faith. That's interesting because we just talked about trust issues based on past heartaches, and that might be presenting a few control issues, okay? So they're telling you to trust the situation, trust that this has been brought in to help you in some way, okay? To heal, to move forward, um, to feel like yourself again, maybe even better. And it says flirt, extend your lighthearted energy, to others okay so don't be afraid to get your flirt on gemini <laughs> looks like you got something really really beautiful coming into your life if it's not here already um and i think you're going to be very happy about it okay so just kind of flow with it wherever it leads just flow with it oh i want to get you a talisman no idea why but i just got pulled to it when i was trying to wrap up your reading so let me get gemini spirit let me get a talisman not a talisman let me get a run here or a talisman whatever you want to throw me for gemini please 
Man, you got so much confirmation in this reading. I don't know how much more you could possibly get. Keep your eyes open. Put yourself out there and be receptive to what's coming in. Don't just shut down things because you are not trusting for sure. Well, it was a talisman. Yeah, look, this one is uh, algaes, which is about courage. It's about having help from others. It's about protection, knowing that you are divinely protected here. And also good decision making. Look at this. This is Rada, which is about speed your journey. Right. It's about ease in a transition. So you might be transitioning out of a situation into something that is brand new. You could have also been through a lot of heartache here and they're helping you to come out of that. Um, it says communication aid here as well. So you might be really opening up a dialogue here in a new situation. It looks like and they're telling you to be very open and fluid uh, with your feelings. You're also finding your spiritual way. Um, according to this card here and with this comes good news okay and we can already see what that is all right um, this last card is about learning it's about communication um, it's about tradition okay and I told you this person may want to to take this to say you know moving in together even marriage something along those lines they're definitely going to want higher commitment with you I don't know if they are traditional or maybe you're traditional and they want to honor that. Um, it also says wise counsel, okay? So if you need to seek that out, or maybe you are the wise counsel. I mean, let's be honest, Gemini, okay? Maybe you guys find that in one another too. Um, a lot of contemplation too with this card. But what I love about this card is it's also about divine aid. The name of the card is wisdom, by the way. All right, it's about the wisdom that you have gleaned from whatever you have been through here and how you're being divinely guided now and receiving divine aid in your journey to help push you forward. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, my beautiful Geminis, love your reading. Hopefully this will resonate with some of you guys. Very, very excited for y'all. You'll have to let me know how it is going. Um, definitely want to hear about this. Okay. All right, guys. Love you. I will see you guys very soon. Bye, Gemini.